got a heavyweight bout. Um, Connor's going to love this one. Um, Chris Dalkus versus Shamil Abduramekha. <laughs> Close enough. I'm going to start off with Shamil. Shamil Amdurakamov. Abdurakamov. Tried to practice it, but it still didn't work good. I tried to practice it too, and I literally booted the first and last name. So <laughs> you're good. Um, Shamil is three and two in his last five, with those losses being to Curtis Blades and Derek Lewis. So, like, come on, give this guy a little, little bit of a break. He is he's a master of sports in Wushu Sanda, and he's a master of sports in international kickboxing. So he's well rounded. He wins mostly by KO, TKO, but also he's got a good submission game. Only 2.4 strikes per minute at 44% accuracy, though, and 1.2 takedowns at 24% accuracy and 47% takedown defense. And uh, he, he's 40 years old now, but I think Shamil's got plenty left in the gas tank. However, he will be taking on Chris Dawkins, 4-1 and one in his last five, 3-0 and oh in the UFC. All first round KOs, 10 of his 11 wins are by finish, nine by KO TKO. Also a BJJ black belt, but he hasn't even shown that part of his game yet, really. I think this will be Dawkus's toughest opponent opponent to date, but I, I still got Dawkus getting the win in this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you. I, I didn't want to, but I, I have to. It's... Shamil, I mean, this guy, he's 40 years old, you know? Like, he is a Dagestan native. Oh, oh shit. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right, we're, we're computer pros for a sec. But, um, yeah, he had so many fizzled bouts within the, like, like he last fought um, Curtis Blades and got finished. In, tw- in September of 2019. So this is going to be over two, this is a two year delay off for him. But he was scheduled to fight Surreal Gan twice, Augusto Sakai, and Chris Dawkins twice. And those all fizzled out to where, to, like, he was supposed to fight Chris Dawkins at two separate occasions over the summer. And now they're finally meeting up now. Um, so I'm curious to see how this fight goes about um Shamil is no joke he has wins over Chase Sherman who he fi- who he, he finished um has a UD over Andre Arlowski and a win over Marcin Tibera that's his biggest win as of recent that Marcin Tibera win was big yeah split decision win over Walt Harris like th- this guy this guy's good but like Chris Dawkins is like you know he's just kind of like I I don't think as highly of Chris Dawkins as you do per se right like like I think a guy like Tom Aspinall would steamroll Chris Dawkins but like Tom Aspinall would also I think steamroll Shamil oh yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna take Chris Dawkins in this one I think that he just you know puts the hands on him they're heavyweights it'll probably be, be a quick one yeah I'm, I'm gonna have to agree with you Dan I, I'm like like I said, Shamil has wins still in the UFC, I think. Like, he'll still get a couple wins after this, but this just is not a good matchup for him. And especially two-year layoff, all those fizzled bouts. His career's coming to an end, I think. Yeah. What are you going to do? Hard to say it, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah.